Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part 3 of the 22 Euro Women's Euro Jersey Review. This time we'll be looking at Group C and we have four teams to cover. Uh, four teams again uh, for, with three different suppliers. We have uh, twice Nike and once Puma and once uh, Adidas who are all three. These are the most common suppliers out there. Only Hummel for a Group B didn't mention this uh, the last time. Now, uh, how are we gonna go through these uh, jerseys? As I said, I took before I took the pictures from uh, Footy Headlines uh, and uh, kind of sorted them um, according to uh, the seeding. So in this group, the seeding is we have Netherlands, the defending champions, Sweden one of the big fav favorites, we have Switzerland and we have Portugal. And then uh, we will run through them in the reverse order of the seeding. So we start with the smallest team, Portugal first, and we'll end at uh, the top seed, which are the Net Netherlands. As in other videos before, I put the teams in this group uh, just around me, wearing one of the jerseys, of course. The favorite in this group, although um, Sweden is also very, very li likable to me, but you know, I, for me, it's mostly Netherlands all the way. Let's get right started with Portugal, who are a last minute addition to this tournament. And so, you know, no special jerseys have been released. In fact, they're actually wearing the same jerseys that Portugal have been wearing at the men's uh, Euro uh, last year. You can see it in my review uh, from there a little, a little bit more. I gave the home jersey. I like the classic look. I'm not just so, 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 so sure about the egg accent. I gave this a uh, six star rating and I really, and I still do. This has not grown. I still hate the away jersey that fully deserves its one stars because it's an absolute abomination. Uh, as for Switzerland, we have here the same issue that I already said with Austria, that as of shooting of this video, there have been women's jerseys released. However, it is not very, very clear uh, because they have not been worn yet, whether they will actually be worn. So I'm including the men's jersey as well. Um, and uh, here is just the, la the Swiss jersey from last Euros. Although it might actually make sense if uh, Swiss, Swiss, because the Swiss uh, men have or, or maybe they're wearing their current jersey. In any case, this jersey, same as uh, above, I gave it a four star. I don't really need to say much about it. I want rather want to talk about the women's jersey uh, that was released again with a collaboration with Liberty. Uh, so a lot of roses have been added, which makes so much sense for a women's jersey. I really love the uh, England 2019 away jersey with the big rose uh, pattern on there. You know, a little bit more, I know it's a little bit stereotypical, but I really like it a little bit more flowery. And uh, the fact that I'm not all alone in there, I showed this to my wife and she said the Switzerland jersey, she liked the Austria jersey, but she said the Switzerland jersey, it looks really awesome. And I do agree. You made a Switzerland jersey, which is usually the most neutral and inoffensive thing ever. Boring to look, usually. You made it actually interesting. It's better than the men's version, which actually have a little bit this uh, white... Uh, lines on top. This actually looks really, really good for for a Swiss jersey. Um, I know that the roses look a little bit also like a leopard print, you know, it could be interesting as well. I really, really like this one. I'm gonna give this a straight up eight stars and me rating a Swiss jersey high, that's not something that you will see a whole lot. Um, you know, the I rated once an away jersey uh, with a 10, but that was actually the one from Euro 2016, which is still for me the favorite Swiss jersey that has been released by Puma. And then we have, of course, the one that's hanging up uh, uh, up there, which I'm not, not sure is it pretty, is it not? I actually do like the whole pattern on it. The away jersey for Switzerland, though, is the same as the men have been wearing. And while I do like the Austria one, this one is just awful. <laughs> The saving grace is that they use the Helvetica font, which of course Helvetica means uh, from Switzerland. Uh, it's awful. It's awful, boring, three stars. I reviewed it for uh, last year's Euro. Uh, you can hear all my wrath there. I don't want to waste more on it. I'd rather talk about the Sweden jersey, which again, Adidas have decided this time around 
we're gonna release all the jerseys uh, with the same makeup. We, you know, take a rather uh, run of the mill template, uh, you know, shoulder straps here, put all the logos in the center, including the number, which is not shown here. Um, and yeah, that's our jersey. Uh, so far of all the jerseys, I've heard, I was, I was underwhelmed by most of them upon initial view. Uh, but then when I think about it, um, no, it's not that bad. Because, you know, for European national team jerseys, I have a, a certain expectation. If you look at the Sweden church, uh, jersey up there and the one that we have here, that's not too much difference. My major gripe is that it's too centralized. And again, S Sweden jerseys like Swiss jerseys. And, you know, I'm fully aware that Sweden and Switzerland sound very similar. And Swedish and Swiss and uh, all that geography mi mi mix up. Um, I'm fully aware that this same thing applies sweden jerseys are usually as neutral as they come and this one falls right in there the one thing that actually i find a little bit off-putting i really like the color the color looks great but what i find off-putting is the you know it looks like an american football jersey a little bit with this additional uh, navy trim here um i also think that the navy is uh, takes the Swedish identity a little bit too far. I'd rather would see a royal blue here. Not the baby blue that I have been using when Adidas uh, took over from Umbro, but you know, a little bit of a deeper royal blue. I know the baby blue is more from the Swedish flag, but you know, um, the Swedish crest looks a little bit out, out of place. Now, one really cool feature is that this jersey came in. You see the humongous tag in there, came with um, program of how to beat Sweden and you can watch it online uh, where they actually describe the entire team uh, show all their strength seemingly weaknesses you know a full report and saying yeah Sweden is a really tough team to beat and the way I see it this might well be the winner's jersey now what can I say about it uh, do I like it do I not I mean it is Swedish I don't like this part here I think if you would have left it with entirely yellow sleeves I would have elevated this quite some. I really like like the color. I'm not so sure about the accent color. The navy is a little bit too dark for me. So you see me already going more in the five range. Nothing really offensive there. Uh, it is just, I think you could have done better. There are some good ideas there. And as I said, for a Sweden shirt, it's uh, actually quite nice. Now the away jersey, uh, this is actually the best representation that I have, uh, the promo pick. Again, on a palace store, uh, 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 some hung. There is something that I, uh, about dark blue Swedish jerseys that I really, really, really like. And again, it's the same template that we've seen all around. Uh, same color, same pattern. It's just dark blue with a little bit yellow up top. But this one works. I actually would say this one works better than uh, it did for Germany, Spain, or um, uh, Northern Ireland, which are the Adidas teams that, that, that have looked, looked like so far. This is a jersey that I actually wouldn't mind buying. I really do because it just keeps it, it keeps it simple, it keeps it Swedish, and it's still very interesting to look at. Uh, call me nuts. I'm gonna give this. Uh, I want to give this eight stars. Uh, this, the color calm combination is what sets this one apart. This is where you take a template and you make something good out of it. Although you don't add to it a whole lot. But I have to say this one really, really, really looks strong. And I hope to see this one a whole lot. Which leaves us at the last nation for this women's Euro uh, group. Group C. I'm not new. The, the women's Euro are, of course, the holders, the Netherlands. And... I gotta say, I think we will see a very similar version for the men. I'm a little bit underwhelmed by the very pale shade of orange. I doesn't need to be burnt orange or dark orange, but you know, this bright color here, I really, really like. I don't know why we need to go so pale. And then uh, adding the orange, uh, I mean, the black makes sense, but I actually think I'm just debating. Wouldn't it be better to have the lion in black? And yeah, but then on the other side, you see the shield here. So let's pass this one. Um, it's, uh, but to me, it's a little bit underwhelming. Uh, the design, it, it doesn't add to it and it doesn't really help, uh, the all orange look of the entire kit is a hindrance here. 
Pair this with black pants or even better white pants with a black strap. I think I could totally live with that. And uh, I really thought that again, the World Cup jer uh, jersey and even the one that they won the Euros with, which was the same as the men were, wear were wearing, looked better. Um, yeah, I'm getting around to the crest, which is, is of course a lioness, which is also something uh, rather unique that the uh, women and the men have a slightly di different logo, uh, which I think is great. But overall, um, it's just disappointing. I think this is all I can say. And for that reason, I am sorry, I need to give this jersey. Um, yeah, I'm going to go four stars here. And it's just because I loved all my Dutch. Um, I have to say, though, whatever the um, uh, home jersey was missing, the away jersey makes up for it. This is right down the alley that we had to see, you know, in the mid uh, 2000s. Early 2020s, the Netherlands show showed up with a, a white jersey, which is with blue pants, and then some were showing uh, the colors of the Dutch flag. And this might as well be the most interesting one of these. Uh, yes, maybe these squares are a little bit too randomly distributed, but what I really, really like about this one is first of all, the crest red with the lion in orange looks great. I even think that choosing here red instead of the blue is. It makes it even look more royal in many ways. Um, I also love that this pattern continues on the back. So you have the, uh, all three colors of the Dutch flag in, in, in there. And I really think this is a playful jer uh, jersey that I really, really like. And worn together with the blue pants and the same crest on the blue pants makes this actually a standout. I really do like this one. Is it up there with Finland? Not quite. Is it up there with the Sweden away jersey? I would say so. I really like this one. I'm also going to give this eight stars. So this is my opinion on these jerseys. Um, now you come in. What do you think about the jerseys that, 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 that are shown here? Uh, are they yay or are they nay? Where do you agree with me? Where, you don't, where do you not agree with me? I would love to hear that. Please leave a comment below. Other case, uh, in any case, please subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more videos like this, especially we have one more part to go, you'll see all the other ones in the playlist as well. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will surely talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, just in case you enjoyed this video, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider following me on social media and actually subscribe to my channel so that you stay up to with everything that happens in my software universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.